Hello, my name is Jufa Peltoma and I'm an alcoholic. <coughs> okay, not, uh, but I'm a serial entrepreneur and that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, well, let's discuss about Zen Robotics. Uh, when we started the company with Tuomas J. Lukka and Harry Valpola, who are these genius PhDs, we had this uh, really original business plan, let's do something cool with robots. We had no idea what that cool would be, and we know that we had some AI tech uh, stashed away, and, and we had certain know-how about robots, but we didn't know what to do with it. Uh, we decided that let's, let's call customers and ask them, and we may, went maybe a bit overboard and asked something like maybe 150 customers to meet us from Finnish industry, and we asked that, what, what are your main problems? And uh, The customers uh, seemed pretty upset that they couldn't kind of uh, create processes for objects that are odd-formed. Um, odd and by odd-formed, I mean objects like chicken legs or pantyhoses or or minced meat or something like that, that you cannot really kind of uh, 3D model and you cannot really recognize and you cannot really manipulate. So we decided that what the hell, let's, let's uh, base this company on, on uh, recognizing and manipulating odd formed objects. Uh, at this point we had already some serious talent in, in company and also we had really, really kind of a focused and serious spirit and I would like to show a video of what our company was like at, at that point in 2007. The video, please. <laughs> Teasing Linda. <laughs> So at, so at that point our, our prototype was 20 centimeters uh, tall and, and it was picking odd formed objects with AI control. Then in 2008 we uh, got this eureka moment that hey let's use this whole thing for recycling. Then it took about one year uh, and, and we then got the funding right and we got all the right people uh, from recycling and so on. So, so uh, we were ready to kind of take this technology where no man has taken it before. Uh, at that point, uh, our CEO asked me that, could you please take a 30 minute, uh, 30 second uh, video of the robot picking? And I said that that's otherwise good, but our robot doesn't really pick yet. And, and it's really boring to watch uh, robots picking. So can I do something else? Then the CEO said that, of course you can do whatever you want and went home. So I did this video, the video please. Thank you. 
Uh, just to give you a brief kind of understanding or some kind of understanding that what kind of problem we are now solving with our uh, recycling robots, we are currently focusing on construction and demolition waste. In the EU, uh, every year 900 million tons of uh, construction and demolition waste is produced and, and that's just like in one year. And if you would convert this to a normal size cars and put them pump to bumper and, and kind of uh, make the line go around the world, it would not only go around the world once or twice or 10 times or 20 times, but 45 times over our globe. That, that's how much waste is created. Then uh, about maybe, let's say half of it uh, is uh, landfilled and incinerated, which makes absolutely no sense. So that's why our robots are needing. That creates a huge opportunity for us. This is the kind of a simplified uh, picture of our product. The idea is to put construction and demolition waste here on the conveyor, then run it through different kind of sensors and gather all the data, send it to our uh, artificial intelligence control system, which then controls the robots, which then pick the uh, objects needed from the belt. The uniqueness is really in the brain. No one else has been able to program it. Many, many have tried, but failed miserably. Now we are, we are already uh, getting some super cool results. Okay, then what's kind of happening right now in Zen Robotics. We are actually a global leader in, in robotic waste sorting. Everyone always says that they are global leader or leading company in something, and I'm pretty bored of it. But it's nice to say because we are actually the only company in the world doing this, currently selling these products. So, so we, are, we are that kind of company. Uh, we have a product ready and, and on market. We have sold five units so far, and the potential is, is enormous. Thousands of units all around the world. Uh, we currently have, I think, already 52 employees, as this is almost a week old, the presentation. Uh, almost all of them are proven geniuses. I'm not, but most of them are. And, and we even got eight PhDs, and we don't just hire anyone who has a PhD. Uh, kind of, uh, instead, we have really tried to find the uh, coolest guys in the industry, and some of them happen to, ha happen to be PhDs. We are currently scaling up. Actually, in just maybe uh, 10 minutes' time on the yard, we have a product launch. So I would please kind of ask everyone to stand up after I'm done and walk to the yard and see we have a new product to launch there. Finnish Prime Minister is also going to be there. Then, uh, kind of to, to wrap this up, uh, we already had the robots picking and the product was kind of uh, working already and the CEO asked me again that could you please you for this time give me 30, 30 seconds of, of uh, robots picking and I said that that still sounds pretty boring so let's do something else and the CEO was like okay well whatever. The video, video please. remember these PhDs from Zen Robotics. Last time, they developed robotic recycling to save the planet. This time, they're in it just for the money. For the customer. To make the customer happy, the Zen Robotics recycler can do incredible things. It can pick a range of valuable materials from construction and demolition waste. The customer can sell the recovered material and save in disposal costs. This makes the math easy. Metal. Tirelessly, the robot keeps hunting for objects. 
Millions of picks means millions of kilograms recovered every year. It's payback time. It's less than a year for the customer. This means profit. So don't worry about the capacity. Don't worry about the figures. Don't even worry about the speed of the robot. In fact, the only thing you should worry about is... The Robotic Revolution. Thank you very much and see you in the yard in a, in a bit.